drug lord, a ring described as one of the most vicious in New York City. More than 30 people are behind bars tonight. Rounded up in an army of narcotics agents attacked the empire of Lorenzo Fat Cat Nichols. The Queen's drug lord. Police raiders swept through drug-infested areas in South Jamaica. It's a case related to the murder of a rookie New York City police officer. Ed Byrne was executed last February. Magazine, and we out in Queens. You know, we go every place, every borough, every town to find the realest of the real. Cat, Lance, Tony, you know what I'm saying? They all was good dudes, you know what I'm saying? They grew up for nothing, you know what I'm saying? They brothers bonded by the crown, you know what I'm saying? They gonna be brothers for life. This is a documentary about legends, baby. We ain't talking about no regular ass cats. Pretty Tony Lance, we talking about legends in the world. Officially authentic niggas, in some form or fashion, they was under the hand of motherfucking Tony. Them niggas was millionaires of like 19 kid off a of week. Word. Cause I was a young nigga around them niggas, man. Like a little hustling nigga, you know what I mean? I was hustling around like a good 13, you know what I mean? I used to watch all that when, you know, when chicks was getting found in Baisley Pond. Once again, he came to my rescue. Got all of them, you see that? Cause I'm Bob Lott, they would have shot us that some dudes that don't know Lance and Tony, you know what I'm saying, they might think, you know what I'm saying, that, oh, I never heard of them dudes there, you know what I'm saying, because you ain't gonna never hear about the dudes in the bank. When I was coming up as a shorty, you know what I'm saying, they got a little age on me, it was like an urban myth. I, there's very few niggas that I know that really got involved with purchasing property, um, money laundering to the level that fucking Al Pacino played in Scarface, so the closest they came to it maybe was killing one another, but on the low, Niggas ain't no real motherfucking Scarface. You have a few motherfuckers. The closest nigga maybe is Tony. Lance was getting crazy money. This was back in the 80s. Uh, they were pretty much going platinum in the street. No one built a movement around them. They built a movement around themselves. And then, was, I was amazed at the traffic. You know what I mean? It was so much people. It used to look like Times Square out there or some shit. Word to my mother. I they know the streets. They know how to invest. They know how to distribute. And when we all came together, we had a common goal. And the common goal was to get rich scheme quick. Because we all wanted to change the way we were living. Unfortunately, they're involved with the strip and investment things that are illegal. They ain't see that and come up in that era. They don't really know what it is about a team getting money and the whole team eating and everybody prospering. That's one thing about them hustling niggas of the 80s. When they was doing it, they was doing it, making sure everybody was right. right. There was rules to the game. Everybody was getting money. We was labeled as the 30 million a week group. The Tardo, they was the ones that was behind the scene. A lot of people had to answer to. That's one of the reasons why they last so long in the game. Because, you know, you got people like John Gotti. Everybody knew John Gotti, but people don't un understand that even John Gotti had to answer to somebody. Thanksgiving Day, you know what I'm that's saying? Easy. I mean, you know, even, that's something we do, you know, we do a lot. We like to go into the hood and give out, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 10,000, 20,000 turkeys every Thanksgiving, but those are the first cats I saw doing that. They're just businessmen at the end of the day. And living that I don't care life, that fearless life, it definitely elevated the, the youth, the, um, the youth to selling, selling drugs and making money real fast. At the end of it, you know, there's a great lesson to be learned, and I think that's what's great about Lance coming home, is that it shows that just because you come from nothing doesn't mean you have to return to nothing. It just surprised me that, you know what I'm saying, my man is right now on some positive, real positive things going on, man. What I'm here to do now, part of this documentary, is to help give back. So the youths don't go down that same road of destruction that we went down. If you want to be in this game, you know, this ain't no rap record. If you want to be in this game, this game is real. If you want to play, you got to pay attention. Wow, honey. Wake up.